Hello and welcome everyone to this video on using SAPO data for real-time data integration by Zarentech. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our Zarentech YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. So hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the concept of using OData for real-time data integration. Now, mark these words, real-time data integration. That is, you will be using O data concept for performing crude operation or gate operation for the real time data which is stored in your SAP databases. So O data are very crucial for this because we can use them for performing crude operation in our SAP databases, and they are actually acting like a backend for your front end application which are built on. UI5 or Fury. So OData, what is an OData? OData is Open Data Protocol. It is a standardized protocol for creating and consuming data application interfaces. It allows different systems to communicate and share data seamlessly. Using OData for real-time data integration enables organization to access and update data instantly across various platforms, leading to timely decision-making and operational efficiency. Now, what is the benefit of using OData for real-time data integration? These are some of the benefits. The first one is standardization. OData provides a uniform way to expose and consume data, making a integration easy and more consistent. Also, its interoperability. It works across different platforms and technologies, enabling diverse systems to communicate effectively. Flexibility, it supports CRUD, that is create, read, update, and delete operations, allowing for full data manipulation capabilities. Then we have got the scalability, easily scales to, have to handle large volumes for data and multiple integration points. Some of the prerequisites before directly using OData for real-time data integration is that you are required understanding of OData services. Then you should, your SAP system should have access with OData service enable. And you also should know how the development and testing tools like Postman, SAP Gateway, Integration Middleware. At this moment, we will use SAP Gateway for our testing purpose. So let's develop a OData service. See, I have got a table, uh, employee table, all right? And I want to use this, I want to get the data from these tables based on my URI, which I'll be giving from my gateway client. So what I'll do, I'll go to SE11 transaction code and, sorry, I'll go to SEGW transaction code, SEGW, to create a OData project. So I'll give OData real time. Uh, real time data integration, real time data integration. Uh, then in the package, I will give the name of the package. I will click on this OK button. Now see what is happening around here. Then we are required to create a entity types and entity set. So we will go to import DDIC structure. Uh, give the name of entity here for my employee table. I'm giving the name as employee. Come up with this table name and pass into this a web structure. Oh, sorry. We are required to complete and paste it. Select this checkbox so that default entity set can be created. Click on the next button. Select the fields which you want. I only want these four fields. Click on this next button, select the primary key and click on finish. See, we have got our entity types and entity sets created here. Then what we are required to do is, uh, we'll click on this generate button to generate our runtime artifacts. See, our, all the runtime artifacts has been generated. 
Now simply go to the DPC extension class where we will be implementing our methods. So we want to get a data, right? So getting data, you have got the CRUD methods here, get entity and get entity set. So I'll start with get entity set one here and I'll implement this one. Or I'll implement, I'll write the logic, select star from, from where? From my table name, from table. Uh, should I give filter condition or uh, I don't think there is a need for it. Okay. Into table. See. Uh, we have got a parameter entity set and its type is what is type with TT employee the entity set type which we have created on the SCGW. So you will give it here. So it will do what it will fetch all the data. Uh, into table into corresponding field should be perfect here. Corresponding fields of table ET entity set perfect. Then we will redefine this get entity method so that we can get a particular record if there is any requirement. Let's go for it. So if you are asking for a single record, then you will be giving some value of employee ID, which is the primary key here, and you will be fetching the value of this primary key in this parameter. So we will going to read this parameter since it is nothing but a table type. Let me show to you. So this is a table type around here. So what we will do, we will read this internal table, read table, uh, IT key, tab into run we will allocate our query at the runtime ls key and you will get only one record here that's why we are using index one so if psi sub rc equals to zero what we will do we will write logic to fetch our single record so select single star from my table name into now this is my parameter here er entity which returns the single record so into where the value of employee id the value of the primary key is equal to ls key now see what is happening here if you go into this it key tab parameter into its work structure see we've got two fields name and value and the value will be getting your value here so we'll give the value here. all right now click on this activate button so i've implemented get entity and get entity set now what we are required to do we will go to our service maintenance to register our data service Click on this register button, local. And assign the ICF and TR request. Now click on this gateway client, go to it. Click on this execute button. See, select the entity set. Before directly jumping to it, uh, let me put a debugger so that we can understand this, how it is being implemented. Uh, go to the entity set at this moment first. I put a debugger here. Also put external debugger. Always put external debugger for testing your OData services. Uh, then click on this execute. See what is happening. Your debugger got executed. Now in this entity set, just press F5. See, we are getting all the five reports here. Uh, let me show to you that we have got only five reports in my table here. 
see we have got only five records here uh, so we are getting all the five records here if we click on the execute button we will get all the five records here for better view you can select json format uh, click on this execute button you will get all the data all right three four five perfect now suppose you want to fetch single record just go to this get entity method and put a debugger around here uh, you're required to hit be to client go to the get to client Put the entity set first. This one is something different. Where is my real time? We need to go back by this side. Yeah. Go to the service maintenance, go to the client, select the entity set, and here we will give the value of our EMP ID. One more thing. Here, see, go to the data model first, and in the properties, see, this is the, this is the name of employee id here you are getting you should use only this name here if you will use the other naming convention you might get some error so i'm giving a single record here I'll click on the execute see so now what is happening here. go to this it key tab you will getting a single row in the name you are getting employee id and in the value you are getting the value of the employee all right. Now go to desktop three. So size of RC value will be zero. Perfect. And next, what you will see here, you are required to fetch the data. So press F5. I go to ear entity and see we've got our single record. So if you click on this execute button, uh, you will get it. So next, what we need to do is we need to remove the DPC extension class. Um, we need to remove the debugger here. Then we will add the URI format and JSON. Now see the single record we are getting. These are some of the crucial things that you are required to do. Also, you can use the concept of deep entity and implement it for getting uh, records from more than one table at a time, which are interrelated to each other. You got my point? This is all about using OData for real-time data integration. Thank you very much. Thank you.